Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, it's LaShawn Janice, owner of Purple Pink and Media, and we are here again for another Kingdom Visual Webinar. I am super excited tonight to offer this advanced video in regards to streaming third party, streaming to YouTube and Facebook simultaneously using OBS. Yes, they're like, how? How, how do you do that? It, it doesn't work that way. Guess what? I'm here to tell you it does. And it's fairly simple using a third party called Caster. Yes, for a low, 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 low monthly payment of $15 a month, you can stream simultaneously to not only Facebook and YouTube, but to LinkedIn, Twitter, um, Twitch. There are so many platforms that you can stream to, and trust me, I'm gonna show you all of them tonight. But first, if you are not utilizing your Facebook and YouTube simultaneously to live stream your virtual worship, your TV show, your rants, your gaming, your anything virtual, you are completely missing out on your target audience because everybody isn't on Facebook and everybody isn't on YouTube, but guess what? You need to capitalize on using both of those streaming platforms for your good. Why? Let me just give you a tidbit of information real quick. Come in real close. Come in real close. If you want to stream in HD, Facebook ain't going to let you do it unless you're a gamer. That is why you need to be streaming your virtual events simultaneously on YouTube. And tonight, I am going to show you the quickest, fastest, most affordable way to get that done. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video so that we all can learn. I am here to help the masses. I'm not charging for this. This is a Kingdom Visual webinar where we are here to build the kingdom and to build your brand. So look, the next time you need some help, I offer these webinars all the time. Go check out my website, LaShawnGenies.com. Check out my services. Register all the time. I have um, Ask Me Anything, Purple Pink and Study Hall. I'm going to be doing a content creation using Canva social media templates. Come on. I am here to help you guys. So make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, follow me on social media, Instagram, and Twitter. And guess what? I've got a Facebook group that plays just enough information, exclusive videos, just for media professionals, just like you. So make sure you go join my Facebook group, Beyond Media. But look, enough of the talking. Let's get down to work because I know you don't have time to just hear me sit up here and talk to you. You want to see how to get this done because you probably want this to use tonight, tomorrow, for Sunday service, for a big event that you're planning, look, I got you, I got you covered. Let's go. Okay, so in order to fully prepare, we always need to make sure we have all of our windows open. So we're gonna dive right into OBS. Let's open OBS. Now, once again, this is not about building scenes and OBS tutorial. So I'm not gonna get into that. We're just gonna open OBS and we're also gonna open up Caster. So put in Caster, C-A-S-T dot, wait a minute, C-A-S-T-R dot I-O and log in. This is a dashboard after you've already paid for a subscription. And let me tell you, the subscription is very, very, very affordable. So we have our media already built in our OBS. We're going to head back over to Caster. And we're going to do Facebook and YouTube. So there's two different ways in which you can do this, but I'm going to teach you the best way to stay engaged with your viewers while live streaming. So open up your Facebook and open up your YouTube pages. As you can see, I have so many pages that I manage 
And I also have my Beyond Media Facebook group. First, I gotta like my cousin who made it to number one. Congratulations, Ty. Anywho, so here goes my Facebook group, Beyond Media. Make sure you go join this because all of my webinars are automatically replayed the next day on my Facebook group, Beyond Media. And thank you for my new members that are joining my Facebook group. Okay, let's head over to the Facebook live stream with your gear page. And we're opening up YouTube at the same time. So we've got YouTube opened. And go to go live on your YouTube channel. And I just want to mention that I'm running this on Microsoft Edge. It is best to use Safari or Google Chrome. And that's why you might see the blink of the black because Microsoft Edge really isn't good for streaming. Just a side note. So we have our Facebook page open and we're going to click create a live stream. I work off of many different tabs at the same time and that's only because we're operating with our advanced users. We're on Facebook right now. Select your tab. You're always going to pick go live right now. I am going to do this one through a group. So select to go live on the profile page or group that you desire. Fill in a title and a description. And it's so important that you use hashtags in your descriptions, but that's a whole nother webinar. And I need to cut my nails down because they're super long and it's affecting my typing abilities. <laughs> Use that hashtag Kingdom Visual, guys. Share this video right now using the hashtag Kingdom Visual for me. So there we go, we're already, mind you, this is the most important section of this page is your live stream URLs and keys, stream keys. So now we're here on YouTube Studio. And I've previously done lives on YouTube, so it's going to save the information. And once again, your most important information on this are your stream keys. Let's head back over to Caster. You're all ready to actually get started. Now, mind you, we have not gone back to OBS yet. We're not ready for OBS. We yeah, we're not ready for OBS. We have to set up our streaming platforms. Take a look at this price. Now for $15 a month, $14.99, I am able to stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. That is a steal, guys. Really, truly is a steal. So let's start to build our broadcast. You're going to click New Simulcast when you're adding a stream in Caster. Select your stream name. And it's super important that you select your region in the region in which you live in. No matter where you're streaming this to, your host region is where you are. Even if this stream is going to the UK, if you are in Chicago, pick Chicago. If you're closest to Chicago, pick Chicago. If you're in Detroit, you're closest to Chicago. You're not closest to New York. That is so important. So now we're going to add our publishing platforms. Take a look at all of these platforms. It's a lot. Set up with your stream key. You're going to set up with your stream key. So you're going to click on select stream key. We're not going to connect to Facebook this time. We're going to go back to our Facebook live producer page. 
copy and paste our stream URL into the select boxes and save. Do the same thing. Add a platform, go to YouTube events, set up with stream key, go back to your YouTube studio, copy and paste your stream URL and your stream key in the appropriate boxes. And save. Now we're gonna link the pages so that you'll, you'll know what that link means. When you click connect to Facebook or connect to your YouTube, it's gonna automatically ask you to log in if you haven't previously logged on. And it's gonna successfully connect. Then you're gonna see all of the pages in which you can actually stream. Pick a page or a profile. Put in your description. Super important that you make this description worthy of characters because it only shows the first 250. Unlike connecting with the stream key, you can add as much text as possible. And click save. Now we have our three platforms in which we want to stream. Utilizing our live stream setup on both YouTube Studio and Facebook. And we have linked one of our platforms using Facebook link. Now listen, we've got that all straight. Now is the time to pick up your caster stream key. And this is when you go back to OBS. Click your settings. Go to stream. Pick caster. Make sure you click that region. That was the same region that you chose in your caster. Co paste your stream key. Click apply and OK. Now that means everything is linked. Everything is linked. You're going to toggle on and off. Now you can toggle them all on. You see how they're all turning green? Or you can select them one by one. You can double check your stream key by clicking the little bolt. Make sure you continue to save. Now understand, Caster is just a third party. It doesn't improve your quality. It just ensures that you are going to stream simultaneously to the platforms you requested. It doesn't do anything. So if your OBS settings are not streaming for HD, Caster is not going to do that. You need to change your OBS settings. Now we're going to just click that start stream because we're all ready to go. Now. Your stream is going to pop up in your caster once it connects. That's what that stream key from caster, putting it back in OBS, that's what it does. It connects it. Now we see that it's populated. You're not done. It only went live. You still have to go to that Facebook Live Studio page, to that YouTube page, and ensure that it has started. You're going to have to go to that Facebook page and click go live. Do not forget that, ladies and gentlemen. It's only reading it. It's not populating it to go live on its own. Now I think I'm like super frozen, but it's making it work. I'm really just trying to set this time up so that you understand that check your encoding settings, make sure you don't have any drop frames, that green box saying that everything is good to go. And now we're unstuck, now, now we're moving. Now it's reading, it's gyrating, it's great. That's why it's always good to have an intro to your video. And now we're gonna see that it's live on YouTube. Excellent, we're running our stream. We're also gonna go and double check on Facebook make sure that it's going live too and hit that go live button and then you are able to connect with your viewing audience you're able to chat with them live just as i'm doing so on your youtube and your facebook
the live stream it there it's reading there it is we're all ready to go on our Facebook page and now we're connecting with our audience on our Facebook page and this can happen at all times when you're streaming live you can send messages links pictures gifs the whole nine trust me your live video will not be interrupted it's just because I'm I am streaming a lot from my computer right now while trying to conduct this video you're streaming live you're encouraged you are ready to go this is awesome you have figured this out but don't forget if you have multiple scenes and multiple videos on your OBS you got to go back to your OBS and you still have to be the producer in your OBS just trust that everything you do in your OBS will be transmitting to your platforms through caster I absolutely love my supporters I love you guys whenever I run tests on any of my social media you guys always comment I appreciate you love you so much check at the top of your caster you have your frames per second you have your analytics of how exactly your live stream is running make sure that stays on green and you're in OBS you can switch your screens maintain the same producer status that you had just know that whatever you do in OBS whatever you do is going to show on your publishing platforms okay so now we're going to be ready to end the live stream we've ended the live stream on OBS go back to caster you will see that that live stream will stop you will not see the video playback now it says waiting for stream right so then you got to go back to your Facebook you need to end that live stream as well make sure you end it go to your YouTube in that live stream as well you have to manually do this but you still have it streaming simultaneously to the platforms you desire. And then you are absolutely positively done, guys. And you can always save this information. You can save in Caster up to uh, two or three broadcasts. So it'll save your stream, it'll save your information, it'll save your platforms as you want it to. Listen, I am so appreciative for each of you for watching this video, learning something. I hope this video helped you get to the next level. And listen, I have got resources upon resources upon resources. I've got new graphic designers. I've got new interns. I've got new social media templates that I want to show you. So make sure you stay connected. Go on over to my website, LaShawn Janice, become a member, sign up for my e-blast because I still send those out because they're still that important. That's a whole nother class. That's a whole nother webinar, whole nother blog post, a whole nother everything, making sure that your email subscription list is growing daily, right? Look, I'm not going to get into that, but I do want to thank you all. Be sure to sign up for my next webinar. Of course, this is LaShawn Janice of Purple Pink and Media. I've been doing this for 20 years. And finally, guys, finally, we're important. Media professionals aren't important. It only took a pandemic. But guess what? I knew that already. That's why I've continued to do this and continue to teach because there's enough room for all of us at the table, right? So let's help each other. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, start a watch party. I really appreciate you. I will see you at the next webinar. Love ya. Bye.